Hey guys, so today I am hiking the Oak Springs Trilobite Trail. Now this trail doesn't really need much of a guide to it. Didn't bring you out here today to actually show you the trail. What I wanted to do is actually show you how to come out here and find your own trilobites. So if you come out here, this is actually BLM land, you're able to search for, find, hunt, and take your own trilobites. They are for personal use only. You're not allowed to barter or sell any of them, but you are allowed to come out here and take as many as you want. A reasonable amount is what they say uh, for personal use and for your own collection. So uh, anyway, thanks for joining me on this adventure today. Let's get to it. <music> The Oak Springs Trilobite area is located two hours north of Las Vegas along Highway 93, approximately 13 miles west of Caliente, Nevada. There are no facilities on site, so remember to practice leave no trace principles while you're here. If this is your first time at Oak Springs, or your first time collecting fossils, you'll want to pack some gear. First and foremost, always wear eye protection when prospecting. For a basic kit, you'll want to bring along a hammer preferably with a claw to help you split the shale. Gloves, sun protection, and a bucket to carry your equipment and your newly found treasures are also handy. For a more advanced kit, invest in a mason's hammer instead of that hammer from your toolbox, then add some brushes, a flexible metal putty knife, which is perfect for splitting the smaller pieces of shale you'll end up with, and something to sit on. I like to use a lightweight hiking stool when I go. I'll provide links to some of the more helpful items in the description below. The trail to the fossil site is only two-tenths of a mile, but keep your eyes peeled. There are plenty of opportunities to spot some great wildlife and snap some photos of flowers along the way. Your goal is an exposed trench of shale located on the east slope of a knob. Make a slight right at the end of the trail and you're there. Set yourself up in a nice shady spot and start scanning the ground for fossils and pieces of shale that can be easily split. They're everywhere if you just take a moment to look. It's an incredible sight. Now, it's been in my experience out here that uh, as you're looking for shale along here, you really don't need to dig too deep to find the fossils. Uh, a lot of people uh, happen to overlook a lot of the best stuff. So what you're looking for is actually the shale that's sort of purplish in color. Uh, that stuff seems to split open much easier. Uh, this is some of it right here. Uh, so sort of got like to me like a dark brown almost purplish hue to it that stuff seems to uh, Open up a lot easier. <laughs> I just picked this one up. It's got a fossil right there on the on the top of it So all you got to do is just look around uh, But if you're looking for the stuff to split open the darker purpler redder rustier sort of looking stuff the shale itself is a little easier to split open and you'll find a lot more at least in my experience there is some uh like sort of greenish hued stuff and i have found some fossils in there however this stuff's a lot harder to split open and what you're doing is as you're splitting these open you're looking for just a seam like a crack along any of these that you can get your rock hammer into and then break those open you're sort of just Splitting them right open and taking a look inside to see if you see any fossils. I had quite a bit of luck today just doing that. I didn't need to dig. No need for a shovel. Really, this is the kind of stuff you're looking for. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Reddish brown. All strewn over here. You can almost guarantee that there's some fossils hidden in this shale here. We just got to split it open and take a look inside. So anyway, let's do that now. Once you've grabbed a handful of choice shale, head back to the shade and start splitting. Repeat this process until you've found just enough fossils for your personal collection. Now it doesn't really require a whole lot of force to get these, uh, these pieces of shale open. Really just uh, lightly tapping with your uh, mason hammer, rock hammer, whatever you want to call it. Uh, splits these open pretty easily. You don't really need to use a lot of force to get them open, as you can see. You've got the right piece of shale. And boy, I sure do. Look at all those pieces in there. So if you get the right piece of shale and you're in the right section, you don't need to use a lot of force. The stuff comes right open. Yeah. Just a little tap. Tappity tap tap. Look at that. Right there. Here's 
the other side of it. So as you can see, it doesn't require as much effort as everybody else is doing out here. You don't need to dig. It goes crazy. You get nice little pieces like that. Be advised that you will discover mostly heads and isolated bodies and tails, but you may be lucky and find a whole specimen. Just remember, whatever you do find, you can guarantee that the fossils you're holding are over a half a billion years old. And I'd really love to see what you find, especially if you found this guide helpful. Please let me know by tagging your Instagram images with the hashtag BasecampNevada and hitting those like and subscribe buttons below. Thanks for fossil hunting with me today. I'll see you next time.